folks. Today is Friday, April 12th. Is it the 12th? Uh, 12th, 2024, as usual. My name is Jake Baldino. We're here to talk about all the video game news that has been going on this week. Uh, after a couple of slow weeks, we got a bunch of cool shit to talk about. Game announcements, stuff like that. So let's just jump in. The first thing is technically kind of a leak or an assumption that can be made about a job posting. Uh, so Push Square spotted this. It'll be linked in the description down below. But we might be getting another God of War game. Surprise, surprise, the story continues. You probably know, sort of, if you played Ragnarok, but it seems like Sony Santa Monica is hot on the heels of following that up because they're hiring more people. Sony Santa Monica posted a job listing, and this job listing was spotted uh, stating specifically that they're hiring for somebody that has experience with combat and enemy design and stuff from God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok. So a lot of people are using that to infer that like this is another God of War game that they're staffing up for. This, of course, probably is separate from the other game that Sony Santa Monica is working on that's been talked about and rumored and kind of alluded to. Uh, Corey Barlog and like those type of people are working on a sci-fi game, and apparently on the other side of the building at Sony Santa Monica. So we don't know what the deal is with that, but I think this is at least a clue suggesting that while they are working on other stuff, God of War is also going to continue. And I just, I really am curious to see where it's gonna go next, especially with Kratos and with the Valhalla DLC, which I recently played and made a video about on my channel, if you missed it, but I don't know what they're going to do now. So I'm, I'm really curious to see what comes of this. What could you possibly want from the newer God of War saga continuing? Do you want to continue to play as Kratos? Do you want to play as Atreus? I don't really know, but let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, also in some cool news, I don't know why I didn't see it coming, but Warhorse Studios has teased the announcement of a new game, and people are strongly suggesting, and insiders and stuff, that it's it's gonna be Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, or something like that. And that, if you ask me, is pretty sweet. That game had an uphill battle, uh, but it found an audience that really just fell in love with it. It's a very unique, very different game. When it originally launched, it was kind of in a rough state, but at the same time, there was no other RPG built like it, and with that emphasis on realism and historical accuracy. Uh, so for that type of game to have another lease on life and, and make enough money to continue and make a sequel, I think that's something that should be celebrated. So I'm, I'm really curious to see the actual announcement coming from them. It's dropping next Thursday on April 18th. So I mean, yes, even though they didn't officially confirm it's like a new Kingdom Come Deliverance thing, I mean, the image has a horse behind it. <laughs> now in other news, let's talk Destiny. Uh, I don't I don't know a lot about Destiny. It's very hard to keep up with. As someone who has jumped into some of the expansions, uh, it's hard to follow the community and what they want and they will look forward to, but Bungie did finally come out at long last and reveal the final shape and details about it and the future of Destiny. So we got a final shape trailer and all that, and uh, there's gonna be like mixing subclasses, crazy new over the top abilities, seems like a new uh, enemy type or enemy faction. The combined subclasses thing seems like something that people are really excited about. Again, I'm an outsider to this, so I can't comment on that stuff too much, but now we know it is coming June 4th officially. But along with that, uh, the people at Bungie have suggested that that's not the end of Destiny 2, and it's also not the end of Destiny. Leading to a report, uh, something picked up by Paul Tassi at Forbes, suggesting maybe the next Destiny or a Destiny 3 may be leaked, sort of. This comes from a Twitter account, uh, a random insider uh, that posted something and, and got it right. A while ago, they tweeted the info that like Destiny was doing this combined subclasses thing, Prism. It's a little more complicated than that, but essentially they posted that that was going to be a thing and, and they were right. So was that a lucky guess or was that insider knowledge? Uh, well, regardless, they have tweeted again, suggesting, and I quote, Destiny 3 is, was, I don't know, in development under codename Payback. One of the big changes for Destiny 3 is uh, for classes to no longer exist and allow any character to spec into any ability, since lore-wise, there is no reason you couldn't. Uh, they've also followed up and said, codename Payback does not mean we lose in the final shape or after the three episodes. The internal codename of D3 is not a reference to any story events. Rather, codename Payback refers to Bungie getting paid back against themselves by creating something they hope everyone will love. I do not know if there are any plans for Destiny 2 items to carry over into Destiny 3. Now again, this isn't a lot. You can take this with a grain of salt because it is just some guy tweeting. But in this instance, and Paul Tassi is right in pointing out uh, that they got something very highly specific right 
previously. So maybe, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they're making a Destiny 3 either way, even with its troubles and tribulations and a, a massive amount of layoffs. The brand power is still strong enough to probably keep going for a while, but that's just me on the outside looking in. Let me know what you think. If you care about Destiny, I definitely want to hear from you. If you if you don't, then you don't. You're probably not commenting anyway. Next up, jumping over here real quick to talk about the sponsor of today's video. You're not going to believe this. It's Vessi. Vessi has been a long time sponsor for the channel because they are just the go-to dependable footwear we've been relying on for years now, man. I mean, they've got colors, shapes, styles for every single person, and all of their stuff is 100% waterproof, but they don't actually feel like waterproof shoes. They're comfy, they're cool, and they're they're always adding new stuff to their lineup. So right now you should check out the weekend sneaker. These are whether you're exploring a city, you're jumping in puddles in the woods, you're going on the beach. These have you covered, but they look stylish and casual. They got a lot of great colors and stuff, but also while you're at it, don't sleep on the new Stormburst low top. Look at these bad boys. The Stormburst shoe has been killing it for a minute now, but the low tops bring a little bit extra style. It still has the knitted kind of collar around your foot, rugged outsoles. For those that want to get a little bit more adventurous, uh, with me with the various pairs of Vessi shoes I have right now, uh, they're always at my door from when I'm ready to go outside and play with my dog, especially now that it's the spring, it's always rainy and muddy in my backyard, so I'm always prepared with these bad boys. All their shoes, all their stuff is style meets functionality with a good bit of waterproofness, but that just makes you feel adventurous. So if you want to check out the shoes and it helps the show, all you got to do is head to Vessi.com slash game ranks. Using that link, you get an automatic 15% off your first purchase. So once again, that's Vessi.com slash game ranks or click it in the description down below. And big thanks to Vessi for sponsoring our videos. Next up this week, we got a big reveal, a big story trailer for Star Wars Outlaws. Uh, just kind of outlining some of the details and the story aspects of the game and where it sits in the universe. And we got a release date, August 30th of this year. So some kind of like end of the summer gaming if you will. It's centered a lot specifically around Outer Rim planets, and also I like that it's dealing with a lot of the criminal organizations throughout the galaxy that have been mentioned. Some dived into a lot, some not. Pikes, Crimson Dawn, the Huts, like a lot. I, I think that's pretty interesting. Still, with this game and this trailer, I'm still not sold. I don't know, there's something about it I can't quite put my finger on. Some people are saying it's just Ubisoft. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to like really get my hands on it to judge it, but I don't know, I say that as a Star Wars fan, like the irony of me wearing a Star Wars shirt while complaining about Star Wars, it's what all Star Wars fans do, to be honest. But uh, mainstream gaming as a whole seems to be pretty upset with the fact that it's like the price is a full price, 70 US dollar game, uh, also offering up a $110 gold edition that comes with three days early access and a season pass, and a $130 ultimate edition with more pre-order bonuses and a season pass and digital goodies that's that's a lot of money especially and i think this is why people are really riled up is that it's a game that like hasn't proven itself yet we have no idea if it's going to be good or not and it's already potentially asking some people to pony up 130 dollars. i mean for me the argument is simple don't pre-order it i don't know like this is still a debate some people still like pre-ordering games it's not like a hot take. I'm not like this like consumerist hero to say, don't pre-order games. But like, I just, I don't know. I don't do it. I don't get excited about that stuff anymore. Sometimes I need to for three day early access stuff like this to make videos on. So I'm part of the problem. But otherwise, specifically with season pass stuff for single player narrative games, like what if I buy that game and I don't like it and I don't want to see where it goes or how they can add to the story. Then I'm going to be pissed. I bought, I bought the big, you know, crazy special edition with the season pass. I digress. I'm, I'm going on a rant here. You probably feel similarly to me one way or the other. So yeah, Star Wars Outlaws for me, the jury's still out on it, but I'm willing to give it a shot and I'll make a before you buy video. Of course, you know, we got you covered when it does release. Ooh, next up, baby, some cool announcements. The first is a trailer for Slay the Spire 2. Yep, we're getting a follow-up. Uh, all we really know, other than this cool animated, you know, like, trailer, is that it is coming in 2025. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Along with that, Fallout 4 is finally getting its long-awaited uh, next-gen update release. Uh, so on consoles, you're gonna have, like, performance and fidelity mode. You're gonna apparently be able to get it up to, like, something like 60 
60 frames per second, ideally. Not a ton of details about it. Like, they didn't have, like, a big trailer showcasing this or anything, but it is releasing April 25th. Oh, and the PC version is now going to have native ultra-wide support, which is cool. We are definitely going to revisit that because that was, like, one of the first games that, like, we made videos on on Game Ranks, and it, it kind of blew up, and that's what helped us really grow. So we, we got Fallout in our hearts for sure. But speaking of that, uh, this release is also uh, gonna have some extra content, some new content, some Enclave stuff. And speaking of that, I mean, it's kind of releasing around the fact the show is getting a lot of positive buzz. The Amazon Prime, Amazon published, uh, produced show is apparently really good. I watched the first episode last night and I found it a delight, dude. It was cool. It covered like the, the vault stuff, cowboy griminess, post-apocalyptic stuff, the Brotherhood of Steel. It was funny. It was serious. A lot of really good gore. So, I, I mean, I'm hoping I continue to watch it and it feels just as good. Some crazy people have already binged the, binged the entire thing. Good for you. But uh, yeah, for now, that's where that's at. So that's out this weekend if you were looking for something to watch. It seems safe at least to start watching it. Not like Halo or something like that. Oh man, next up in a good surprise, uh, as someone who's been really digging Prince of Persia lately with uh, Prince of Persia The Lost Crown, uh, we're getting another smaller scale interesting Prince of Persia game. It's another 2D action platform type thing uh, with more of a hand-drawn art animated style. And in this one, you actually play as a Prince of Persia and it's called uh, the Rogue Prince of Persia. But you s stop for a second and you're like, okay, another one of these little 2D running, sliding, jumping, slaying, okay but it's from the people behind Dead Cells. So for some people, myself included, that's all you need to hear. Evil Empire is behind it. I think that's cool. Again, we can't really judge it until it comes out, but I, I'm just excited for that combo. And I think this makes a little more sense for Prince of Persia right now because they've made a couple of big budget AAA games that just kind of whiffed or weren't really great and uh, they're trying to remake the Sands of Time and that's been kind of like a mess behind the scenes. So for right now, we're getting these cool, more creative experiences that actually kind of harken back to the old classic days of Prince of Persia. That's just me, soapbox over though. Uh, talking about other uh, mashups and team-ups and uh, cool things I like, vampires. Uh, specifically with V Rising getting a collaboration expansion uh, with Castlevania. Legacy of Castlevania, it's gonna have like the Belmonts, Dracula, all that. The trailer was pretty flashy and cool cool. All we really know right now is that it is coming sometime in 2024. Along with that, if you are looking for expansions or more stuff to play, if you're still into Remnant 2, Remnant 2 is getting the new DLC, Forgotten Kingdom. This expansion, uh, it's coming April 23rd, so not too far away. Also, I know I talked about Prince of Persia on my soapbox, but another thing that's like specifically my type of thing, check this out. It's called Laisara Summit Kingdom. It just released in early access. This is a city builder, which is a genre I absolutely love, but it's centered around building on mountains. I downloaded this, uh, I have it queued up ready to try and find time to play this weekend in between watching Fallout, and I'm pretty hyped. It just, it just sounds like a cool idea, so I, I figured I'd put it on your radar. If it's bad, I'm sorry. I didn't play it yet, but... Also, just shout out to people who are creative and good at stuff, unlike me. Andrew Levitt, uh, this YouTube channel, they created or recreated the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer in real life. It looks like they shot it in Miami. It's got all the locations, the bridges, the islands, even like the clubs and some of the streets, like almost like beat for beat. And it's really fun and cool. I like sometimes the good things that come out of a game being announced and then nothing really else coming from it is that people will have their own fun. And uh, this is perfect. For me specifically, the last shot of the trailer, that's just like, that's just the icing on top. It kind of feels like old YouTube, just like those corny hokey videos that we would all make, like homemade stuff, I don't know. So if you wanna check that out and everything else I talk about, it's all gonna be linked in the description down below. Definitely give them some love, tell them I sent you, but that's it for the news this week. Uh, that's the stuff we had time to highlight. So uh, let me know what you think about everything going on. Let me know what you think about a new God of War, how you specifically feel about Star Wars Outlaws, uh, a possible new Kingdom Come deliverance, and all the cool smaller game announcements from this week. Like, let's talk about any of this stuff down in the comments. Definitely want to hear from you. Let me know what you think of the Fallout show. If you have first impressions or if like you just binged it immediately and watched it, let me know what you think about X-Men 97 because that last episode... 
holy shit. No spoilers, but uh, yeah, let's talk about anything down in the comments. Of course, if you want to find me or yell at me directly, uh, I am on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Just look up Jake Baldino. That's where I'm at. But thank you guys for being here. We'll catch you in the before you buys and stuff like that. We're here every Friday to give you the news. All I ask of you is to have a good weekend. Be safe. Pizza's on me.